Hey, everybody. Jim Short's fitness guru. Didn't see you sneak up on me there. Going to take a little twist today on some of our videos. Uh, we've been doing a lot of fitness work, but I thought maybe I'd uh, show some of my handy skills. I borrowed some things from Sean, who's our head of maintenance at Duke School. Thank you, Sean, so much. I got this thing. It's got a bunch of numbers on it. So I'm going to try to use that. And that goes in this part of my tool belt. Uh, I got this guy. I don't know. I actually use it to work out, get some get some reps in. But I think Sean said it's called a clam. I don't know why. What else we got in here? I got this thing. I've been trying to figure out how to get the water. It's like a game. I think Sean said it's a game, and you try to balance the water bubble in the middle. I haven't been able to do it yet, but anyway. So I got that thing in my belt here. I got some pliers. I know these are pliers. So I'll figure out what to do with those. Sean said this is a stud finder. That's easy. And if this doesn't go well, he also said always have some duct tape. Um, I've been trying to find a duck to tape up, but I haven't had any luck yet. So anyway, that's that. Uh, today what I thought I'd show you is something you can build at home since we're at home. Uh, it's called a stomp board, and they're great for our younger students because it helps them practice some throwing and catching. Nah, not necessarily throwing. More catching skills. All right, so and you can make stomp boards out of anything you have around your house. This one is made out of some pipe and a piece of board. And today I'm going to do one out of wood for you. So here we go. I've already measured my board, and it's that long. And I used this thing, and it said that it was like, let's see, it was 37 INs. So there you go. And then I got this piece of wood, uh, third graders, I think this might be called a fulcrum, I think. Uh, and it's going to go kind of act as a pivot point on our stomper. So I'm going to. I'm gonna, gonna look for my nails. There's my clam, hold on. Clam over there. Oh, that's probably too big. That's probably too big. Let's see what else I got in here. Uh, so I took my thingy here and I figured out how far in it needs because if it's in the middle of the board, it won't work right. So I kind of made a spot right there. And I think, let's see what that says. That says eight. INs. So we're going to put our guy eight INs. Okay. Uh, Got to find something to attach it with. Oh, I got some screws. Third graders, you know what that is because we did a lot of uh, work with uh, simple machines. Uh, this is called a speed square. <laughs> but what shape is it? Triangle. Anyway, it helps. It has lots of numbers on it. I don't know what they're for. But Sean said, show it, because it would be cool. Uh, we got our drill. Everybody likes a drill. Okay? And all we're going to do is take our screws that we have, and we're going to attach our board to our board. Sound pretty easy, doesn't it? All right, let's see what happens. Is the screw going to be long enough? Yes, it is going to be long enough. That is a miracle. Hmm, make sure we're lined up right here. Wouldn't it be something if I screwed it to the table? <laughs> Kidding. That's a little carpenter joke there. Here's a little something for you. Uh, so that was one screw. I have some more screws in here. I have a screw loose, actually. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on to the phone. Where'd my screws go? What a dilemma. Ha! Huh, who took my screws? Are they in another pocket? Sorry, I really did have a screw loose. I didn't know where I put them. So here we go. We're going to do the same thing again. Take our screw. Make sure it goes in there nice and flush. Excellent. We have one more screw loose here. So that'll be three screws in this one. Uh, 
Oh, nuts. It's split. That's okay for our example. All right, so here's my board. Okay? Board, board. Now, how this works is once you have it, you put it down on the ground. Go ahead and take your tool belt off. And you'll need a brave volunteer. This happens to be my stuffy uh, Amos. And so Amos is going to sit on the end of my stuffy. If I have a bean bag or if you had any kind of object you can put on the end, that would be great. And what you're going to do, it's called a stomp board. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thank you. Uh, you're going to put your object on the end, give it a nice stomp. and catch your object. So preschoolers, first graders, second graders, kindergartners, anybody you want to, you can practice some tossing or some catching at home with your stomp board. I'm Jim Shorts, fitness guru and part-time carpenter saying be safe and stay beautiful.